So guys, what's going on? It's so video and today we are back another episode of Ark and you might be asking yourself, Star, what the fuck happened? Because some of you guys may have seen Royal's video and apparently Royal committed some highway motherfucking robbery upon us and uh, that's cool. I, I can't really do nothing about it, but that's cool and uh, yeah, what the? Jurassic democracy? Who the fuck left there? Someone just left a crimson beak. Who is this shit? Are they taunting me? What the? This is actually scary. Why is someone here? And also, Ferb 2.0, 2.0 managed to survive. By the time I spawned in, it said that a Carnotaur killed me. Uh, that was fun. Uh, after that, uh, I was told Royal stole most of my shit. Uh, base is somehow still intact, but uh, given the fact this is arguably one of the most dangerous motherfucking places I have ever seen, considering the fact there are three T-Rexes I've been killed by a Carno, and other assorted bullshit, we're packing our bags and we're getting the fuck out of here because I would prefer... You know, to go to live in a peaceful area. This isn't even worth fucking tearing down. Whatever, you you keep that then. Uh, we're gonna start making our way. I'm actually going to demolish this. Start making our way kind of more to the beach. I think that's probably a better idea for all sides. If I start heading to the beach. And we're, we're taking Ferb with us, of course. Uh, I don't know who the fuck this is. And also along the way... I want to make sure to gather as many Miko berries as possible, because apparently the gorilla, which we're going to try to... If we ever come across the bastard, he's kind of rare, but uh, if we ever come across the bastard, we're going to do what we can to tame it. Also, Ferb 2.0 2.0 has got a couple levels here, so I'm excited about this. We'll level up his health a little bit, and we do want to make him into as much of a killing machine as possible, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, let's us, though, throw his ass on follow, and start heading to the beach. Again, want to keep our eyes peeled for any gorillas or gorilla like creatures that's a bronto egg i would love to take that i'm also currently uh getting dehydrated which is kind of really bad okay is there some berries i could eat um do these even restore hydration kind of i guess we'll eat a bunch of tinto berries let's get as much hydration as we can we're gonna go by the beach because it's hot as hell on this hill yeah i would grab that egg that actually just despawned never mind uh, i would have grabbed that if it wasn't for the fact that there were two brontos and uh if you grab someone's egg they do not give up on the hunt, on the chase for you. They will continue to chase you uh, until you're dead. Or you kill them. I'm telling you right now, I do not think I would be capable of killing fucking god knows two Brontos in, in as like a level, what, seven? So really not the best, best, uh, y yeah, y you get the drift. Anyways, let's start making our way down here. And I do want to start migrating a little bit up north and seeing what we can do there. I just, I, I don't know, I, I want to stick more to the coast though, because with just, inland sucks right now, we're not ready, and what the hell did this guy kill? He killed a, a dodo, you butthole, get over here, die you bastard, you, uh, Ferb, help me out, do the battle, Ferb, never mind, is your ass on passive? Ferb, are you gonna, you gonna help here, buddy? There you go, fight, fight, go Ferb, you got this, I believe in you, ow, fucking dick. There you go, Ferb. Nice. Ferb 2.0, 2.0, making me proud. Uh, now then, let's... Uh, are you on passive or something? What's up, Ferb? He's on neutral. Okay, I'm gonna throw him on... Attack my target, because we are gonna probably be doing a little bit of hunting here. Let's have him follow me around, because I do want to also get the meat off the... Actually, no, I'd rather go for the hide off this bad boy. We're gonna need hide to get some of the water skins and whatnot, but, uh, yeah. I'm not building up there. I want to kind of... I'm not going to lie. This lake seems very peaceful. I, I would not mind building here because it's... It could concern the fact we're constantly getting dehydrated building by here. This is actually, I think... Uh, I tried building here earlier. I think this was before I started the YouTube series on like the... The Day Zero stream thing where like some people got to stream it a day early. And uh, I think that's where I actually... Oh, hello. Is that an airdrop? Did we go for... Eh, that's way too out of our way. I want to start heading up north a little bit. It's a friendlier territory, and apparently, closer to the red obelisk, uh, word around the street, what I've heard, is that uh, that's where gorillas can be found. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, okay, you know, if we can head up there a little bit, we should be able to have ourselves a little uh, better chance. Better chance when it comes to getting ourselves a gorilla, and because that's kind of the end all goal as of now. Yo, motherfucker, Ferb, where are you? Ferb. 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 You motherfucker! No, for real, Ferb. Where the fuck are you? Oh, there he is. What the? He was not around any. Okay, now he's like teleporting places. Is the server lagging or something? That's the only explanation. Anyways, what level are we right now? We're at eight. Oh yeah, we should probably get some clothes again too, because we're kind of butt naked. But uh, clothes come later. You know, right now we're just relaxing, having a good time. Anyways, where's this bullshit at? Okay, 
Let's try and get a couple more dillos on our dinner plate. Oh no, Ferb, get over here and help me. Please, Ferb. Ferb, I need your help. Ferb, Ferb, Ferb. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. There you go. Good, good, good. I hate when they freaking just spray their stuff on you. Not gonna... I, that came out very rough. When they spray their... They, there's no way of saying that in the right way. When they spray their stuff on you, it's like... It's just... Ah, uh, it's weird. It always gets so glitchy and it doesn't let you, like, run around. And uh, hello, baby. We got 14 hide out of that. I'm excited about that. You know what I'm sad about? We lost our flare gun. Actually, very disappointed, but... Uh, we're getting some Dillo kills here, getting some XP for us and Ferb 2.0, 2.0. Lovable bastard. Let's go, Ferb. Is Ferb? Oh, Ferb's spraying his stuff on the sprayer. Haha. <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. Oh, I hope Ferb's actually like, not about to die. That'd be, uh, that'd be bad. No, I think Ferb's doing doing A-OK. -okay. You know, Ferb? I I, I hope he's doing... Okay, no, he's getting tag-teamed. Oh, shit, we're out of spears. Ferb, I really need your help right now. Unless I can craft another spear. I cannot craft another spear. Ferb, uh, try not to get tag-teamed right now, bro. Please. Please? Okay, that's one down. How you doing, Ferb? You're... Yeah, he's, he's, he's fine. See, Ferb? Certified killer. One day he'll take out a T-Rex for us. He's living on the name of Ferb 2.0, which is a very, very... If you guys watched the first season, you know why carrying on the name of 2.0 is a very big feat. We're gonna work on his health a bit. I think he's gotta work on just being able to tank. I think that's his, uh... Best thing. And also, we already got a level up. Nice. I think pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Then we need a level up to craft up the sleeping. Yeah, that'll be good. We can actually start building a bit of a base. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of melee damage. Uh, some guys are commenting how I should build. I know how I should build. I just want to work on health because I'm still used to tanking shit. And uh, yeah, yeah, about that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so used to like running in there and YOLOing shit. I want to get my health up as much as possible. Stamina too, though. Uh, I think that's going to be a good thing to work on. And I think we should be good there. I kind of want to go up on that cliff. That looks like it'd be a potential gorilla place. I mean, are we suited to tame a gorilla right now? Not really. No, actually not at all. Uh, we don't have near... Actually, because taming is sped up, we might not need as many berries now that I think about it. Also, let's throw your ass on neutral. Hopefully that'll protect you a little bit. And uh, just whenever we're running, I do want to make sure that we are picking shit up through these bushes because, like I said, we got to stockpile all these Miko berries. And, uh, I mean, either way, it's food if we don't feed it to a gorilla or shove it up their ass. Because, I mean, I, I, fan fiction here is that apparently because uh, the best way of taming the gorilla slash Bigfoot is uh, coming up behind him and feeding him. And uh, apparently, or force feeding him. So, uh, common, common. A uh, myth coming up here is that you quite literally shove the berries up his ass. And I don't think that's true, but I will go with it for now, just because it is, uh, that's a very enter entertaining, entertaining, uh, whatever the fuck you call it, theory. I like it. Now, where, Ferb 2.0, 2.0, you motherfucker, where did you go? I seriously don't know. You know what I do know, though? What the? Ah! Ant army! I can't move fast enough! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Give me my spirit. Give me my spirit. Get out of here, you fucking ants. Oh my god, really? My spear broke already. This is, this is, this is great. Okay, Ferb, I really need your help. Stranger danger, ant danger, ant, ant, ant danger, Titina, Titina Drima danger, please. I, I can't click. God damn it, everything is going wrong right now. Okay, they're, they're dead. They're dead. We can get some chitin out of them. I, I hope. Yeah, a little bit. We can't really do much with it. Chitin armor, though, whenever that, okay. This server is really not doing us any favors with how much it's lagging. This is actually kind of insane. Yeah, this is actually- wow. This game hates us right now. Yo, Ferb, are you getting attacked right now? Is that a- no. Oh, hello. Hello there, uh... Dragonfly. How, how you doing? Just- Okay, well, I'm just gonna stab up and hopefully kill you, you annoying piece of crap. Yo, Ferb. Ferb! Where is Ferb? This motherfucker. This is why these bastards are known for getting lost. This is why Ferb 2.0 got lost in the mountains. And why we were never able to recover him. Because God knows where the fuck they are. I'm, I'm retracing my steps a little here. No, seriously, Ferb, where the fuck are you? Is that you? No, that's that's a Dillo that wants to kill me. Great, thank you so much, Dillo. You're a fantastic individual. There you are! What the fuck? He's coming in sliding down the goddamn cliff! What are you doing, Ferb? He literally comes out of the most random situations just like, Sup, I'm, I'm Ferb. Just like, I feel like he's a slightly, slightly more badass version of Ferb 2.0. He always comes flying in in the stupidest manner. Alright, Ferb, I'm keeping my, 
I'm keeping my motherfucking eye on you because I do not trust you. Oh yeah, we got some engram points from this too. Let's fiddle with this a little. Got 10 points. Uh, let's start learning all the woods. Uh, fuck. But a bed would be really good too. Uh, I guess next level, I'd rather have some wood walls so at the very least we could build a secure base or as secure as possible. Eh, and we're dehydrated again. Motherfucker. Why is being up here just so, so prone to dehydration? We might have to slide down. Okay, thank God for a lot of berries. I'm just gonna throw uh, Amar berries. I swear to God, if that's... <laughs> jukes, jukes, not letting that shit get to me again. Ferb, where you at? Where you at? Ow! Holy shit, he sent me flying. There you go, Ferb. Tag team this guy, and not in a weird way. In a casual way. Come on. There you go. Nice. Can you collect his... Can you collect him? Did I- can I turn on collect? No. Mm, okay, well, I guess that's cool. Uh, I just- uh, I don't want to hit you on accident here, Ferb. So if you would please watch out. Uh, this- this- this is insane, actually. Why is this not working? This is actually really, really bad. I don't get why it's so bad. Holy shit. There you go. Now he's starting to move. There you go. Got what we should have out of that. Uh, alright, let's eat up some berries and hopefully make our way to the coast pretty soon. So, uh, we can have something to eat on. No sign of the gorilla yet. I mean, I just wanna- I know it's kind of early on in the series, people are yelling at me like, Store! That's such a stupid idea, you shouldn't try taming a gorilla this early on. But in reality, it's like, as yes, the gorilla isn't super, like, level dependent to tame. You don't have to knock him out, you literally just have to be careful with it. And you need berries, so quite literally, it's like... It's a tame, you should be able to do really whenever, because... You don't need to be strong to knock it out. You don't need Trank. You literally shove berries up its bunghole until it loves you. And I know that that's a very weird way of earning someone or something's love, but uh, I, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to play games and shove berries up gorillas buttholes. So I, I'm not really the person to ask about this. These flowers are beautiful, by the way. Uh, anyway, let's continue eating here. I guess we'll... I did want to check... I mean, like I said, I just want to check out this cliff a little here, but... It's not really seeing much. I mean, I'm just happy to be moving away, and I, I don't know. These grasslands are just so much hotter. All right, let's let's head down here then and try to get a little bit of water. I think that will be the best plan of action, uh, especially since there's no gorilla in sight. But I mean, we're gonna continue our search. Albeit right now, we're not really actively searching for it. Right now, for the most part, we're just kind of moving along, doing our thing, and because kind of we wanted, I, at least personally, I wanted to move more north and to the coast along the west. So uh, it's kind of a double whammy, and we just happen to be, you know, these these areas we're going through are kind of just slightly out of our way. It's not really that bad. Yeah, was Ferb still behind? Okay. Yeah, the areas we're going to is only like slightly out of the way, so in reality it's not like a huge deal. So right now it's kind of like we're passively looking for it. We're not, we're not being super active about it. We are going to start being active about it once we get a bit of a home base and all that stuff. And of course we're already over encumbered. That's fucking fantastic. And, uh, hold up, let me get some other berries in here then. And I guess we'll stop picking up berries for now. Oh, we could always throw- yeah, we could actually throw them on Ferb if he teleports his ass over here. Come on, Ferb. I know the server's struggling right now, but you can- you can- you can come over here, boy. Okay, or not. Alright, Ferb, you- you do you. You're stuck on a- you- what the f- well, I mean, at the very least, he's got- wow, he has no weight to fiddle with. <laughs> Alright, Ferb, you- you do you then. Worthless sack of crap. Sorry about that burp. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Now right, let's get this last piece of wood and at least... Son of a bitch, we're gonna be overweight, aren't we? Um, great, this is going awfully in almost every way possible. Hey, at the very least, let's get some wood. Never mind, we don't have the wood for that. Okay. Um, let's chop down a couple more trees then. Wait, aren't we gonna get overweight from chopping down so many trees? I feel like yes. Okay, well we got enough there. I don't think we're over and come to the point where we can't move and we got a wood foundation so hopefully that'll I mean that should free us of 40 pounds worth of wood and let us run again hey and a level does up because this is kind of higher level stuff we're crafting so woo double whammy uh let's, let's work on our stamina a little bit I think that's a good call and we just hit level 10 we should have the level 10 craftables now uh cementing paste one of the building blocks of pretty much everything and the rest of assorted wood bullshit uh Mm, let's get the bed 
and I guess a door frame. And then what do we need for the door? Door frame. Got it. And then a ceiling. Yeah, I mean, one more level and I think we'll be pretty much set when it comes to everything we need to craft up. A good no wonder I got 93 fucking stones in my inventory. Holy shit. How did I not notice that earlier? That's what's weighing us down. Jesus Christ, why do I need so many stones? Oh, a slingshot. We should probably craft that soon, too. Uh, this is actually this little rock. Oh, is this a... Are we... Is this a cave? It can't be. This, this is a cool little kind of rock for me. I kind of wouldn't mind building here. This is a... Uh, ah, ah, ah. This is a cool little pet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like this. I like this area quite a bit, actually. Look at that. Nice little pass through. This is, uh, mm. this might have the star snipe five stars of approval if this is the case because this is, uh, kind of sort of badass. Holy shit. We could have like a little valley. We could wall off one side, wall off the other, throw some spikes up there. And really, it's, uh, we got trees. We got resources. This is some cool shit. Pretty close to the water. Huh. And we got this dope ass fucking tree in the middle. Do you see this thing? Fucking tree of life, holy crap. Excuse the language, despite the fact I always use that language. Excuse it. <laughs> this one time, this is like a sense of wonder. This is like, that tree is fucking magical. Look at it. That is so badass. Oh, we are definitely building here. And look at all the wood resources right by water. This is fantastic. Guys, if you ever want to build in an awesome place, come to the West Coast, baby. West Coast is where it's at, apparently, because holy crap. I love this. All right. Well, at the very least, start. Uh, no, we should start throwing out the foundation and stuff. I mean, for now, we're just going to have the little one by one foundation. Nothing crazy. Just a nice little place to call home. We'll do it. Uh, I guess kind of under the tree here, under its protection. Uh, can we chop this tree? I hope not. I hope this tree is just kind of here. No, oh, I. I don't want to chop that thing. That thing's awesome. Look, fucking look at the vines that I've never seen a tree like this. Seriously, at least either I've never paid attention, but this is like a little grove. This is so cool. Hot damn. Now this, I am happy to be. Oh, we did good, boys. We picked a dope as fuck place to build. And also, we got a lot of stones, and especially since with the upped rate of stone gathering and stuff, I think uh, eventually whenever we start doing stone building, it's actually going to be viable. It's not going to be the biggest... I mean, it's still going to be kind of a grind to do, but it's not going to be a huge pain in the ass like it used to be. Uh, so right now, we can only craft one of those bad boys. Uh, oh, and the good thing about crafting all this, too, even though I just mentioned it a little bit ago, but it's uh, just doing all this base building crafting. We're going to get... Especially since this is higher level stuff, this is like wood. We're getting a good chunk of experience out of this, and ho ho ho, I like this. I like this a lot. You know what I don't like? Our stone hatchet about to break, but I mean, it's alright. As soon as we have this base ready to go. Okay, let's, let's please not get over encumbered again. Oh my god, why are my friend? Oh, hello. Can I repair that? Yes, I can. Nice, we have to mess with that. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead. I think we'll end off this episode by... Hopefully, finishing off our base here. Uh, like I said, hopefully crafting up a couple of these wood walls and the door frame will allow us enough XP to level up. Uh, we might be cutting it kind of close. We might just start crafting shit for fun at that point. Because, or we could go hunting with fur real quick. I don't know, could go looking for the gorilla too. I think this is actually a good base of operation. And like I said, we're still pretty close to the, uh, it's one of the obelisks. We're actually close to the, which one is it? I believe that's the red one over there. I think so. Let me get this other wall crafted. There we go. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's not. Okay. There we go. Let's get it crafted. Yeah. We're pretty freaking close to that one too. It's just uh, a little bit of a beach stroll and we shouldn't be able to get up there. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever been to that obelisk now that I think about it. We've been around it when we went for the, uh, for the whatever you call it, but I mean, it's close. I might go visiting and this seems like, uh, this seems like prime gorilla territory anywhere around here, so gonna be keeping our eyes peeled who knows maybe one day i'll wander under the tree of life that's what i'm gonna call it this is the tree of life this is beautiful and imagine if my like settings were on ultra and i had like a god tier computer mm, that would be schmexy as fuck god damn oh okay like i said should be getting pretty close how much xp do we need uh literally like 20 uh i guess we could just 
craft another foundation and start expanding it a little bit that way too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, chopping down shit should give us a little bit of XP, and then crafting it should finish the job. Foundation, though, is going to take a good chunk of everything. So let's get that. Eh, let's look our way over here. Eh, eh. Come on, come on! Oh, we're starving. That's not good. Uh, we should we should fix that. And I got berries. Uh, we could cook the meat too. We should probably craft the campfire now that I think about it. That's uh, that'll be a good use. Oh shit! Maybe level us up enough too. Yay? Nay? Yay? Hey! Holy shit! That gave us 10 XP. Oh fuck me! I'm not complaining. Hold up. We gotta. Uh, let's do health. I want to hit 200 health. Then I'll start putting points and other stuff. Uh, let's us. Get the wood door, wherever that is, right there. And we have enough points for the wood ceiling, too. And bada bing, bada boom, we have ourselves a complete house. We should be able to craft up enough of everything. Never mind, we need two more wood. Get over here, you worthless sack of shit. I need, I need to chop a piece of wood real quick. Come on, come on, baby. There we go. Got the rest of it. Got the door. Bada bing, bada boom, we have ourselves. We're settling this. This is going to be the home. I'm really happy with this. No insanely dangerous fucking dinosaurs right by the water so we could expand into the water. Have a water cage for uh, Bruce whenever he decides to come back, aka when we decide to tame a shark and other... I want to do a plesiosaur too because uh, we never tamed a plesiosaur last season. I did say plesiosaur is one of the big goals for this season, so I uh, definitely have to see about that. Let's keep on munching on these berries. Uh, holy mother of tinto berries. Let's eat a bunch of those. Urgh. And let's get the rest of these. And we should have, and this should be easy to expand onto too. We should just, uh, this will be like a little storage room then, and we'll throw down some foundations and make it into a two by two, eventually a three by three. Bunch of fantastic stuff. It'll be great. Anyways, got that. And finally, the finishing touch under the tree of life. And here we have it, our humble abode. Uh, Ferb's gonna stand here and watch, and actually nighttime's coming too, so this is uh, kind of perfect timing. And I do want to bring Ferb kind of over, just next to it. Come on, Ferb, this way. This way, you dumb mudadillo. Come on, Arm I almost called him an armadillo. You dumb armadillo, come on. I might name my next Ferb, I might, not Ferb, my next dillo, armadillo. Hmm, I'm a genius. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I, I should just stop talking. I'm, I make myself look stupid. No, stop! Just stay. That you're chilling there, you're on neutral, protecting us, and, uh, yeah, that's really, I think, about all there is, so, let's continue eating that last bit of food. Oh, yeah, and we should probably place the campfire and at least, uh, get some of that shit cooking. I guess we'll throw it in here. I mean, I don't see why not. Let's throw it in that corner. Yay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a tight fit for now, but it's something. You know, it's a start. And then, uh, hmm. We'll get a little bit of it cooking. We'll throw the rest into Ferb just because by the time we come back in, it's going to be spoiled anyway. So we'll cook up those five. We'll eat those up for ourselves. And uh, should be good to go after that. So, Ferb, go ahead take the rest of this meat. Keep those Mackleberries safe, although by the time we log in next, I don't know. Also, I did want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, probably going to be streaming this game. Going back into the ARC streams, because now that it's like we got a lot of stuff to work on. Uh, probably just going to be doing a stream on Saturday. I'm not sure. 100% of the time, probably like 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that's usually when I stream. I was going to stream today for Friday, but I've, uh, my flight got delayed from Venice. Uh, or not Venice, from California. So I came home late and threw off the schedule, so I had to get this video out for you guys. I didn't have time to stream. Super sorry about that, but so hopefully I can do a makeup stream tomorrow. And uh, we're going to be doing some ARC stuff. We're not going to be doing... Anything to insert? I don't know. I mean, tune in. You know, we're not going to be doing like episodic stuff. We're still going to be doing all the episodes, but we're going to be doing some of that in between work, potentially taming a couple things, and uh, it, it'll be a fun stream. Though, if you guys do come out, and uh, I'm excited for that, and really, I'm excited for a brand new day to dawn because this, this, this area we have here is uh, beautiful. It really is. Hold up, let me get like an epic view of this shit. Just like, dun dun dun. Seriously, that tree is. Gorgeous. I don't know why it just it just attracted me to the spot. Okay, that's enough of stroking how beautiful of a spot I picked. Holy shit, it's dark. Okay, let's let's head back into here and uh, call today. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy it. As always, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Sign out. Love you guys. See ya.